Alright, so you guys know here. Yeah, this can be a little bit of a different video. Sorry about the shadowing and stuff. It's just I'm trying to mount my camera vertically and after a while. So yeah. So short story short, you saw the title of the video, so I haven't had a look at this game yet. So this is uh this is pretty yellowed. Right there, yeah, it's uh it's quite yellowed and destroyed. I will get better camera angles. Here is the this. I'm covering the address. So yeah. So yeah, I, you know, I thought once in a while gotta do something different because the zombie stuff is kind of gets uh, kind of gets old doing the same thing over and over again. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but yeah, you can clearly see how yellowed that is. Not as much as that, but uh, not as dirty as I thought it was going to be, which the photos showed it kind of dirty. I always thought that was like the HDMI, but it's not. <laughs> I thought it was at first, but there's the audio jack. There's uh, this kind of dirty. The camera resting on my wood, and don't even say it. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what type of screws these have. Ooh! These have the uh, these have the tri wing screws. Oh yeah, kind of dirty there. Uh, let me actually check if I have that. Here's what this kind of looks like before. Why is it yellow? So there's that, and then here's the Game Boy. Oh yeah, this you can definitely tell is yellowed. So like here's the before photo. See, it's supposed to look. Yeah, you can clearly see the yellowing of it. Yeah, I didn't have the correct tools before, but yeah, let's take, let's quickly take this apart and then see, uh, see what we're doing, seeing what we're dealing with here. All right, take that off first. Yeah, it took a few days, and yeah, two, like two, three days later. Two, three. That the try stupid try wings. That one screw was stripped out. Same with I think this one. Or actually no. Why is this one not coming out? Yeah, this one might be stripped out or something. So I'm gonna push from the bottom. No, it does not. All right. Before we get into that, let's do this. The cartridge. Man, yeah, these are really weird screws. There's for the cartridge. Alright, again, I'll have to look on that, but yeah, this. Alright, let's see here. Oh, yeah, oh. I already see something that probably might not be fixable. There we go. What I'm saying that might not be fixable is, is that corrosion on the board right there. So that might not be fixable. Let me, now that I have this apart, so what I mean by that is this corrosion there, corrosion there, a little bit of corrosion there, my battery is about dead, so, really, uh, the, the rest of these screws are normal ones, and then, yet they have to get into it, you need that, oop, alright, audio jack holder, Yeah, I'll keep recording until the batteries completely die out. Alright, so that just hooks onto there. That's fine. Uh, motherboard. Motherboard. Is that loose now? Should be. Oh, yeah, it is loose. Like that. Ow. That hurt. All taken apart. Yeah, the only thing that worries me is those corrosion spots. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty nasty. So, yeah, next up, cleaning. Sorry, none of the shots are, like, professional or that. It's just, yeah. Yep, so that's gross. Uh, let's see. First, I guess we'll start with the...
Definitely cutting a lot of this. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Actually, wow, actually the screen actually came off, the adhesive was that loose, very careful with it, yeah that's surprising, the screen just popped right off, I'm like alright, I guess that works, so I can clean off all this other old stuff. This part I have not cleaned yet. Try to clean some of these off. I'll first start off with the game uh, one, which is this one. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, boy. That is quite the bit of corrosion, so hopefully we can get that off. Oh, well, nope. Okay, maybe it wasn't corrosion. Ugh, it's flicking everywhere. Well, I guess it's not... That's, yeah, that's definitely way cleaner than it was. Uh, the screen thing, ooh. Yeah, that side will do up later. Ooh, yep. Ugh. Like the corrosion on these boards really worries me. Alright, let's see if I can clean up some of this corrosion here. Oh boy. Okay, this one's not, uh, this one's cleaning up a bit. Mmm, yeah, still kind of dirty though. Most of this doesn't actually look that bad. I just realized that I was cleaning. You guys probably saw nothing because I was just cleaning, like, holding in my hand. So, yeah, that, uh... So, yeah, you probably saw nothing. Yeah, you can see I don't do these types of, of, of videos and stuff. So, yeah, let me just try to clean off some of this corrosion here. Oh, boy. Alright, there is in, there's before, so yeah, she's all done, 
Yes, the yellowing actually on camera looks a lot less than it was. So yeah, I wasn't able to fully get the yellowing out. Clean up everything. I polished up the buttons as you can see there. It, those are kind of shiny now. So now it's time to put it back together, which hopefully I remember. If I remember correctly, I think it goes like that. And then, and then like that. And I somehow got hair on it. Wait, let me listen. All right, and then I need, all right, tighten this down. Yes, I know I should be using a tool, but like, come on. There we go. Yeah, so there's the game all put together. That was the easy bit, and don't worry, I, will, I am replacing the label. I already made it in Photoshop. All right, so now the difficult part, putting all of this back together. And yes, I, ooh. Actually, before I do that, I did in fact polish the glass, as you can see. So, alright, so, that goes to there. I don't know matters, I don't know if it matters what buttons go to what. Yeah, so that's fine there. Fine there. These I thought were plastic, but these are actually just rubber, so I was like, what? And then, yeah. Oh yeah, this goes right there, this goes, oh, yep, yeah. right here. Most stuff, most most of the time I'm putting stuff together, it's like the self-explanatory. That, yes, and that goes, yeah, I don't for some reason find the need to add the adhesive to the screen, because the screen is, is screwed on, or actually clamped onto this uh, motherboard, so I f found it weird that you would need uh, the adhesive. If the battery dies again, then we're probably just going to jump cut to the end, because, yeah. Alright, so now it is time to put all these components. Yes, I did clean all these, it's just, there's a little thing called the corrosion ate away the nickel plating, so that's kind of why, yeah. That one goes, yep, aha, there we go. Two minutes ago, battery's almost dead. So yeah, what I did, I did a lot of stuff off camera. As you can see, the yellowing, uh, I tried to reduce it. Yeah, the I did with that peroxide thing in the black light. The yellowing is kind of reduced a, a, quite a bit uh, off camera. Like I said, I polished the buttons there. You can see, wow, look at the surface now. Yeah, I polished the entire surface there. I polished the screen also. Let's see. Yeah, you still can see there's enough scratches, but it is to the point where it's, like, acceptable. So, yeah. Yes, I know. I did have a, I did have a thing on, uh, yeah, I did make this in Photoshop, but, yeah, stuff happened. All right, moment of truth. I'm running out of batteries again. Yeah, that last clip, that was a fail. I ran out of batteries. All right. Ooh, look at, uh, wonder if I have to, ooh, that is not good, wait, ooh, wait a second, huh, that was weird, I think the corrosion got to it, unfortunately, because I did pretty much everything I could to do that, so there is, there is my fail, uh, my fail video. You can see I'm not, uh, I'm not too happy because I spent quite a lot of time with buffing and polishing the surfaces as you can see and everything there. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And rise. Couldn't end this video like I ended it. So let's try doing a few more techniques to fix the uh, screen and stuff. Uh, took it all apart again. Checked everything. Did multiple things to fix the screen, tried to adjust the screen, pressing down on the pins and stuff, did everything there. So then I'm like, does the screen even work? Uh, evidently, I tried this screen on another Game Boy and it worked. So I'm like, wait, I'm like, what? So unfortunately, the motherboard on this is water damaged. So that's why for some reason the game plays the audio works but the screen won't display anything because 
there's got to be some layer of the motherboard that got permanently damaged by the water. So, unfortunately, this Game Boy is pretty much just junk. Like, the case, the case is now in perfect condition. Otherwise, well, minus the little bit of yellowing. Video's over. It's done. Uh, not exactly sure what you guys are still doing here. You know you can click off to like another video at uh, any time if you want to. You don't have to. You can just uh, sit on this video and wait with me.